All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another FSD beta video. We are back finally with a new version. Uh, really apologize for last week not putting out any any videos. Uh, right now we've got version 11.3.4. So here it is. And uh, the notes are all available on Twitter. You can find it out. If you follow me on Twitter, it's cold and at, uh, I'm at, at, at cold envy on Twitter. So um, yeah. Completely different visualization. Here we go. Look at that. It's a fat tentacle. That's pretty interesting. So we're gonna do a few um, turns. Um, oh, that's weird. Why are we at 38? Let me just uh, check. Okay. Oh yeah. So I can bump this back up to 0%. Autopilot. Uh, so I had it, I had it uh, on slow because of all the snow that we have, but uh, right now you can see, as you can see, um, we're approaching spring, or technically it is spring, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, like everything's melting, so it's pretty good. That's that's very smooth. That's nice. Yeah. So that that wasn't really a you know a very uh, okay. There is a little bit of a slowdowns. Yeah, a little bit of a slowdown. It's not really. And over here, usually I uh, slow down to a 40. Okay, so that's still there. Uh, I don't think it is actually 40. So I'll bump it up a little bit here. Or maybe it is 40, but uh, normally I get tailgated if I drive too slow. All right, so let's see how it does this. So it should really shimmy in to the right over here. Oh, that's nice. I didn't see that separation in uh, in lanes over there for a long time. Now I don't know if it's picking up just water on the on the street or yeah, and it did this very nicely. I really like the visualization, so that's really working out nicely for me. That looks really good. We didn't have the bird's eye view when we did those turns as well. I tell you what, you watch videos, you, a lot of videos, I watched a lot of YouTubers, and I watched, and I read a lot of reviews on Twitter, people reviewing their drives, but when you actually sit and get FSD, and you engage it, it's a completely different world. You know, obviously, I, I, I was still driving with FSD at 69, with 69.25.2, and I still engage it, like I even used it yesterday. But, uh, but yeah, like it's, you can definitely make out the difference. So we've got a individual over there. Harsh brake and stopping right next to him. That's a little bit odd. So we've got a yield sign over here. I like the way it uh, visualizes. Yeah, it's still doing kind of similar, similar behavior. With this turn, I mean, there's nobody really around us. I don't know why it's being very uh, uh, hesitant. So, okay, let's try and... Uh, so I have to go to the vet to actually and pick up my dog. He just recently had a uh, dentist uh, or like uh, teeth surgery. So he's, uh, we had to remove one of his chipped tooth uh, or teeth. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate there. And uh, yeah, and keep... Uh, stay tuned and... Uh, oh, and a big stop here for this uh, follow through turn so that that wasn't really good yeah that's not good too so we are going on on the ice driving over the ice it should try and avoid that since we have the space to drive on dry street no cars on the left and the right there's a car on the left approaching but it's uh, pretty far away that's okay all right, that's really good. So yeah, I have to go pick up my dog, so I'll do that. But uh, this is literally my first impressions. I just literally installed this, and and yeah, like I, I just wanted to go out and uh, and do a quick video for this. Uh, but yeah, over the weekend I'm gonna be shooting uh, a lot of my tests, so stay tuned for all my other uh, all my other videos. I'm gonna do the roundabout tests, the double lane, multi lane, whatever you wanna call it. Um, ooh. That's a weird, like, it knows it's a yellow line. Why is it doing that? It's a little bit too aggressive to get away from a pedestrian on, on a residential road. 
love the visualization you can see over here actually let me try and zoom in you can see the uh, the traffic lights are in blue right now they changed that you can notice that the, the lining around the, the pavement is not anymore red it doesn't show uh, too much uh, beta kind of software vibes anymore here we go it's a green light and it's a smooth uh, smooth left turn over here it actually did struggle in that uh, uh, turn previously and I noticed that it is a little bit different right now and yeah you can even give feedback right now by uh, just uh, whenever you disengage it asks you to uh, to leave a voice note so that's pretty cool looking forward to try that all right doesn't avoid uh, potholes still but these are just given stuff we know all that stuff so this is a merge kind of like a big boost for a merge over here but uh, and that it turns over okay it changes lanes immediately so that's very good um, I might just fast forward the section over here uh, we are going until we do this left turn over there so hang tight Ooh, a very weird false left indicator there Alright, so we are doing a left turn over here, so it is changing lanes a little bit earlier. Oh, a little bit of a confusion there. We didn't have this before, so we have two turning lanes that go to the left, and it always picks this left turn. Now, I didn't do anything, and it just got confused, and then it picked this uh, the second one, and that's the first time it ever does that. So I'm not sure if folks on 3.3 can confirm that this has been an, an issue, but uh, yeah, this is a new one for me. So yeah, because we are going to take a right turn uh, after we join this street uh, coming ahead after this left turn. Um, so yeah, but it's a little bit too early to say let's let's pick this uh, uh, this turning lane for that. So you can just obviously change lanes uh, when we are on the other street. Ooh, okay. So it is stopping for the light. Okay. I was about to press the accelerator there. We'll just fast forward till it's uh, a green light. Flashing green light, a little bit of hesitancy. I am going to give it a push. All right. Yeah, and it's picking the wrong lane. That's very, very weird. Now, in 69.25, I used to sometimes change the lane manually just by signaling, changing the turning lane but, or telling it to go to the second turning lane and then engaging FSD and it still did that turn very good. But yeah, that's that's an odd one. I can see why they've, they've been very, very cautious about rolling this out. Um, there's, there's regression. You can definitely see the regression just from that turn. Now. I'll repeat and like go through many turns um, over this weekend and I'll uh, try try and uh, narrow it down to what is really going on but uh, but yeah so far I can say that there are some regressions All right, so this is a yield over here. It should really merge very quickly. Is it gonna wait for the end? Yes, it does. So similar behavior to like, uh, um, to, uh, to 69.25.2. So it just waits till the end of the merge and then joins the, uh, or it waits till the end of the lane ending and then it ch changes lanes. So yeah, that's not really good that, that, you know, they haven't really improved on that, but let's see, hopefully with, uh, with version 11 having more neural networks 
that potential should unlock that. I do notice the visualization is a little bit more cartoony. So like the, the shading of the cars is a little bit more uh, lighter color than the cartoonish kind of looking. Like it's it's got a little bit of a jigger, but yeah, but I really like that they're that they're uh, the traffic light is kind of highlighted in blue right now. So that gives me a little bit more confidence that it is actually in fact it is actually in fact uh, trying to uh, trying to trying to um, notice if if um, if there is any traffic light and and stuff like that. So so it's green right now. paying attention for those traffic lights I think that's kind of like what so the other thing around uh, version 11 is that it does have the the over-the-air update recall fixes for NHTSA so obviously we are in Canada over here but uh, they are still implemented just because they're good to implement um, so yeah I did go through a one stop sign but I didn't notice any difference in uh, behavior so I did hear that there are some issues around stop signs okay we should be really changing lanes over here at this point we're a kilometer away from our turn Yeah, and it's not really changing lanes. Here we go, we've got the indicator right now. Ugh, it's so sluggish. What is going on? Okay. All right, here we go, indicator again. Changing lanes. Yeah, I mean, I would be a little bit aggressive now. I know, I think some folks have been saying yeah, our profile is on average, so it's not really on chill. Should be taking this left over here. Or oh, actually, it might be the next left. Sorry. Yeah, we are on average um, on, for the FSD profile, so it's a little bit too cautious, I feel like, with that car turning into the right. Okay, so it does this tra stopping for traffic light. I like the annotations right now that they've got on the top as well. It kind of kind of gives the, the driver an understanding of what FSD's uh, next steps are. Okay, we've got that turning light. And we're kind of over here, our and this is our destination over here so i'm gonna disengage uh so yeah um very good overall there there was one turn that is kind of wonky the one with the two turn left turning lanes i'll keep monitoring that this was fsd 6 uh wasn't it's not 69 it's version 11.3.4 on city street navigation uh i'll do another first impressions for highway since this is single stack right now and yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.